Welcome to Carriage Driver Center Training website, driving training for adults. Enjoy your free lesson. Stop at the stop sign. And here we can see pretty good, but let's roll forward a little bit anyway, just so we can see even better, maybe. <laughs> You're going by the walk sign, eh? Yes. <laughs> I know. And make a lane change, like signal, mirror, mirror, blind spot. And then you can steer over. all the way up ahead but we have to keep our eyes continuously scanning too left and right all the way up ahead all the way back left and right two times per second and you'll get used to that if you start practicing that you'll get used to it but here's the thing Mike as human beings we naturally move our eyes three and four times a second sometimes you just do it automatically you don't even know you're moving your eyes that fast you just do it subconsciously especially as an athlete if you're if you're if you involved in athletics you're moving your eyes sometimes five times a second you just body just does it automatically your mind does it automatically and at the lights the stop lights up there might go left Scanning this intersection and everything around us, we see the big picture. We're looking around, our light is green, the cross traffic is slowing down or stopped. Yeah, the cross traffic is slowing down or stopped. Looking all, what color are the lights up there, Mike? Red. Yeah, we're just noticing these things, we're just noticing. What's, what's way up ahead, but then we're also noticing everything else all at the same time. That's what we call the big picture. Did you ever hear that before, Mike? The big picture? Yes. Good, good. That means what that term, the big picture, is referring to is the fact that everything in front of us is coming into our eyes all at the same time. Does that make any sense? Yes. We can't look at everything at the same time, but we see everything. It's all coming into our eyes all at the same time. It's amazing the way God made our eyes. It's all coming into our eyes all at the same time. So, so we just happen to call that the big picture. So when you're driving a car, you want to be getting the big picture. Good job of double checking both ways, Mike. And if somebody's coming at those red lights there, what do you want to see that it looks like they're doing as they're approaching their red light? I want them to be slowing down. All right. You want to see if it looks like they're doing what? Slowing down. All right. Because if they're not slowing down at their red light, Mike, chances are that guy's going to do what at the red light? Go through it. He's going right through. He's going right through. I've never seen that happen, but I know it does. You just haven't seen it happen yet, Mike. But uh, I can almost guarantee you, Mike, that you will. If you haven't seen it yet, Mike, in your uh, life, that's almost rare. Go left at the lights. At the red lights, go left. haven't seen it yet Mike then it's uh, you got a good chance you're gonna see it soon now you can go look both ways again make sure it looks like if there's anybody coming at the red light you want to see if it looks like you're doing what going through 
through it. Slowing right. down. Right. Want to see if it looks like they're what? Slowing down. Slowing down, right. Because if they're not slowing down, chances are that guy's going to do what at the red light? Go through. He's going right through. So do you want to be able to see him coming, Mike? Yes. So that's why you have to look left, right, left, right. That make any sense? Yes. And you want to do that at how many intersections, Mike? Every one. All of them, right? All of them. Because the intersection, there's the one most dangerous place on the whole road right there. Right where two roads cross each other, Mike. That's where 35% of all the accidents happen. More than one out of three accidents happen. Right in that tiny little spot. Right where two roads cross each other. And why is it that you need to look left first? The cars are coming from the left first. All right. So the way I teach my students about that, Mike, is, is I always want to look left first because that's the guy that's going to hit me first. Does that make sense? Yes. And then, and then why is it left, right, left, right? Why do you always want to end up looking this way last? that's the last spot you're crossing. Right, that's the guy that's going to hit me next. Capiche? Capiche. And later on we might even tell a few Polish jokes. So we're looking all the way up ahead with our eyes, continuously scanning and searching for what? Danger. Right, good answer. Continuously scanning and searching for what? Danger. And we'll and we'll be talking about these things over and over and over. I'll be helping you memorize these things, Mike. So we'll just keep going over and over and over the same stuff every time we get together. So when you're sitting at an intersection like this, stay alert. Just be looking around, just to, just see what's going on. See what the condition of traffic is. See if there's any pedestrians. Or just to be in touch with what's going on here at this intersection. Notice how it's kind of hard to see to the left here. Yes. So as we when when your light turns green and we start to go, we're going to look that way again as you start to pull out. Because those bushes are in the way. That's it. Left, right, left, right. He's coming, but he's slowing down. Because if he's not slowing down, chances are that guy's going to do what at the red light? Go through it. He's going right through. So do you want to be able to see him coming if he's not slowing down? Yes. So that's why you've got to look which way. Left and right. How many times? Twice. Right. Each. At least twice. Left, right, left, right. We're looking all the way up ahead. We see the red light. You see lots of trees on both sides of the road. One guy tailgating us back there. We just see that he's there. We're glancing in our rearview mirror every six to eight seconds. We just see that he's there. Doesn't matter what this guy that's tailgating you, Mike. Doesn't matter what he thinks. No. 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 We know what he thinks, Mike. We're just gonna, I'm gonna stop teaching because we gotta check out this intersection. Doesn't matter what this guy that's gonna be tailgating you 98% of the time for the rest of your driving lifetime. Does it matter what he thinks? No. We know what he thinks. We know what he thinks. Faster. He wants faster. to go faster and faster. Let's go. He wants me to go and faster. And 98% of us are the same way. So a long time ago, Mike, I had to learn to control myself when I'm driving a car. Let's be one car length away. Yeah, one car length away, just to have a little extra space there. In that way, by being one car length away, whatever happens, you've got a little extra space there. And you'll be surprised one, one day in your driving lifetime 
one day when the light turns green, he might he might not be able to move for some reason. And by being one car length away, then you've got room to get around them. So we're looking left and right, and left and right again. What color is the light up there, Mike? Green. Right. Good job of looking all the way ahead. But we have to be continuously scanning and searching too. Continuously scanning and searching with your eyes. If you're not moving your eyes around, then your mind starts to lose the big picture. If you're just staring at something or moving your eyes very little, your mind will start to lose the big picture. The big picture will become less evident in your mind if you're not moving your eyes. So aim high, look all the way ahead. Get the BP. What's the BP? Big picture. Right, good answer, Mike. And what's that third thing you want to be doing with your eyes? Two times keep, per second. Keep that. your eyes um, moving. On the Keep your eyes moving. Okay. Right. How fast? Two times per second. Right. Good answer. At least two times per second. Continuously scanning and searching for what? Danger. Danger. Good answer. And we see the lights turning green. We have lots of side streets. We have a little extra street on the side over here. And at the lights, go left. Signal yet, why not?